was Michael Harrington, one of the great founders of Democratic uh, Socialists of America. But, but I've been a member for 36 well, I, years. I understand. But has it struck you as interesting that it's never actually worked anywhere? So the question is not what well, are our never, goals. Our goals are the same. How do we get there is the question. So what happened in Venezuela? They call that democratic socialism, but they don't have toilet paper. And it's less equal than no, ever. But the, but part of the problem is, though, brothers, that any time there's been the attempts of ordinary people to engage in self-determination, they can get crushed by external nations. Look at U.S. policies toward Venezuela has been very, very ugly. Nicaragua in the same way. We saw that in so many other instances where countries tried to engage in self-determination and they either get crushed, they either get coerced, and they end up oftentimes responding to that kind of authoritarian treatment. So we've never had a chance to really pull it off. So it's only been a movement so far. It's well, an so attempt to resist the greed at the top, the racism, the sexism, the homophobia, the various ways in which human humanity is violated rather than affirmed. So here's, just to the details quickly, the, the mm -hmm. DSA of New York, which is certainly one of the biggest in the country, recently said... And thank said, God for sister...